Hello, hello, who was watching me on the other video? So this is the makeup look that we were doing on the other video, um, but my phone, um, it had, it said that it was too hot. So the temperature got too high and it just shut me out of everything. Ebony, hi, thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for coming back. Hi, De Deline. You're doing great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, my phone got overheated and it just shut me out. So rude. Thank you so much, Ana Rivas. Thank you so much. Actually, let me put it here. Mm. watching from the Philippines where where are you guys watching from please read the pink comment and help me out like that since uh, it cut me out on the last video but we're gonna be doing the same thing on this eye obviously that we did on this one thank you so much Christy thank you muchísimas gracias this eye is so much more difficult for me to do just because my hand is like on the, the mirror it's on the way. Watching from New York, watching from Colombia, wow. My personal page, um si si tocas la pantalla, ahí está mi información. I do have a giveaway going on, so just touch the screen. Tengo, tengo un sorteo, so si tocan la pantalla, ahí están las reglas del sorteo y los lleva a mi página también. Okay, so I'm being real careful with this eye. I don't want to mess it up. My phone got overheated, um, and it just... It just logged me out and I was doing so good, I feel like, and it just logged me out. Who was watching the other live video? Okay, so I'm kind of just making sure that they are the same height. Thank you, Yohora. Watching from Bridgeport. You was, you was. I'm so glad you guys are coming back. Because I was like, oh my god, it took me so long to get for 500 viewers. But, okay, so I'm just making sure again that this is the same height. So that obviously they look equal. think this is equal enough you estás viendo desde Bolivia wow saludos Monse you watching from Mexico Misty um my phone got overheated so rude and you cut me out okay Okay, so I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. I hope it comes out the same. It is so hard to make two, both eyes come out uh, the same. So just wish me luck because I will need it. The hardest part is not doing like the first like if you're doing it the first time the hardest part is not doing it the hardest part is making the other eye look the same okay so 
I'm going to grab this shade from the from this Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to grab this shade right here the name of it is cashmere and it's like a gray like a taupey color and I'm just gonna put this all over the lid now I do know that this makeup look it is dramatic but if you don't like drama you can definitely tone it down I love dramatic though Thank you so much, Misty. Washing from Indonesia. Hi, honey. Hope you're doing fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna like grab more color. Erica, mi cal, ah, mi teléfono se sobrecalentó. Hola, hola, hola. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Please help me share this video so that we could... How long have I been doing makeup? Uh, I've been doing makeup for... Honestly, for some time already, but I didn't start taking it seriously until, like couple months ago like I would do my makeup and you know it, it'll be cute and stuff I, I feel like but I didn't start like to to try out extreme makeup dramatic makeup and all that kind of stuff until not too long ago okay so I think yeah, I think they're okay all right so now what I'm going to do is again I'm going to grab that small blending brush Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you. I hope that I can pass 400 viewers, but honestly, I don't know. Like, I thought because this page was so big, it has 3 million followers, I thought that I was going to get, like, too many to handle. And honestly, 400 is, like, um, I mean, I appreciate all of you watching, but it's a little bit, like, underwhelming for me. Um, because on my page, on my actual page, I get, like, 2,000. Two so... But, okay, so I'm just going to grab this color right here. Hi, thank you so much, Beatrice. Hi, Mari. Thank you, Nura Fianti. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're just going to apply this color like we were applying the other one. So it's kind of going in the outer V, but it would also like overlap that other color. Now I have to be very careful and literally try to make it look the same because it's so easy to make him look so different. So uh, as you guys can see, I'm overlapping that. Where are you guys watching from? Marta, hago videos en español en mi página, so si haces clic a mi perfil y donde dice sorteo o giveaway, uh, sigues allí y la primera regla es que sigues mi página, te llega directamente, o también está el link en la descripción. I do have a giveaway going on, so make sure you participate on it, just click the link in bio and it'll take you to the giveaway. Ortega is watching from Seattle. Sari San is watching from Wisconsin. Hi. What? Thank you for watching, you guys. So. So just make sure that you like and you share this video so that they will let me um let me back to do tutorials here if you want me back. Okay. I like how this looks without the black and I just wish I wouldn't have added the black because I really like how it looks without it. But since this one already has the black, we're going to add it here as well.
Okay, so I am applying this black in the outer V, but I am applying the intensity like in the bottom corner. And then as I feel like I don't have much product left, I will start blending it upwards. But I really wish I wouldn't have added the black because it looks so pretty without it. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Erika, maquillaje en rojo. Pronto, pronto, bella. Pronto, pronto. Okay, so... Just making sure it's looking similar. I'm a little bit traumatized on not looking similar, so... Just definitely trying to make it as similar as possible. Okay, now this went too deep and oh, it's so hard to do the other eye. So then, I'm going to take that brush again and I'm just going to go like on top of where I went in too much. Black is so hard to work with. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to clean off the excess. And then I'm going to do my eyeliner. And then we're going to continue with the rest of the face. So. Where are you from? I am from Honduras, but I am living here in North Carolina. Now, this eyeliner, I made it really thin. But I honestly feel like doing a thick eyeliner. So. Is it Premier Designs? What is it? Do you put lashes? Definitely, especially doing dramatic looks. Definitely. I think I'm gonna do my eyeliner thick, you guys. I feel like it'll go better with the makeup. what we can do with that eyeliner. Camila, este, si te gusta mi, mi maquillaje, sígueme en mi página, hago tutoriales en español también. Okay, so. Okay. I don't know what to do with my eyeliner here. Literally, seriously debating. Okay, I feel like, I don't know, I'm a, I think I'm going to just leave it like that. Thank you so much, da, thank you so much, Delia, thank you so, so much. Oh, no. Why is make it, like, literally doing your eyeliner so hard? Like, you can do one little thing that can ruin everything. So I'm going to wait till that eyeliner dries out and before I clean off like the excess of the shadow underneath the eyeliner. I learn watching videos. Way up on air. Oops. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use this Italia glitter liner in gray. Now you can find these um, in Amazon.
Okay, I definitely made it too thick. We can fix this. The lip plumper, you can get it at candylips.com. Um, it, it is a Z and not an S. Okay, so I'm just going to like equal out this one. Because I accidentally made the glitter liner on this one thicker. So for them to look the same, i got to equal out this one. Now again, since you're applying this glitter liner, try not to like move too much. Um, try not to move your eyeballs too much because it does take a little bit of dry down. And if you don't wait till it dry down and you move, it can transfer on the rest of your shadows. Thank you so much, Mirila. Thank you so much, Bear. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that this is like as intense as this one. That is honestly as similar as it's going as like equal as it's going to get it is just not coming equal even though like it does have like the same amount of glitter here it's just not looking equal could be because the way my eyes are So annoying. Camila, this is not my page, but if you um if you touch the screen, um it, it should give you the link to my page. And I do go live daily on my page, English and Spanish. I just gotta make like schedule. Okay, so that is honestly as equal as this is going to get. Like literally, I could sit there and try and it's just bugging me that it's not equal. But it is what it is. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you so much. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just plump out my lips again. Just because if I don't, you guys are going to be able to see like the purple cast that I have, the bruise. So... This is the little thingy majigger. It's candy lips with a Z. <clears throat> That's where you can find it. And they do have different shapes. Now this thing was clear, but um if it fell on this water that had a yellow liquid on it, and I've been you know I washed it real good and I put it on boiling water and it still didn't come out. So okay, so alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug out my lips like this. And then I'm going to squish it, and then I'm going to put it in, and then I'm going to just get it out, okay? Christina, the, the first times that you do it, you do get a bruise. Um, this is like, um, I've, I've done it before, and the very first time that I did it, I did get a bruise on my lips. Um, but it went away, obviously, after a couple of days. Um, but then after that first time and you get a bruise, you don't get a bruise anymore after you do it again. So we're going to plug out the lips.
Now you take it out just to see how your lip is looking. And um, again, you know, the very first time that you do it, you do get a bruise. So make sure that you're aware of that. So like if you're, pl I will practice like a week that you don't have to go out anywhere that whole week. Because then the more you do it, the more plumper your lips look even without it. So... So as you guys can see, it does work. Now, when you do it the first couple of times, um, you have to leave it on like a sh like shorter amount of times. And the more you do it, the longer you can leave it. So you just kind of like take it out to see how big they are. And then if you're not satisfied with how big it is, you can go ahead and do it again. Now, when you do it, uh, it, it doesn't hurt, but it does sting a little bit, especially if you're not used to the pain in your, in your lips. And for those of you just tuning in, I do have a giveaway going on, so just tap the screen and you'll see the link in there. Okay, so now me los hago más largo de lo normal porque después se como que se difumina un poquito. Okay, so nos vamos a poner en el rostro. Oops, <laughs> I supposed to be talk, talking English, my bad. Okay, so I uh, do have a giveaway going on, so just tap the screen and there is a link for the giveaway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray, uh, spray my water with Smashbox Primer Water. And just let me know in the comments where you guys are watching from. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my foundation. Um, actually, I'm going to use a pore minimizing primer on my T-zone. They are not even. Okay, so I'm going to use the Smashbox pore minimizing primer and I'm going to apply it on my T-zone again. my t-zone is where I have like the most pores so that's why Nicole is watching from Michigan how are you doing the effect the effect lasts like like two to five hours depends um, but 
the longer you like the more times that you do it the longer that it lasts is and then your lips naturally start looking plumped little by little okay so for foundation I'm going to use the Maybelline fit me in the color 125 and I'm going to use the let me see where's my foundation brush and I'm going to use Morphe M539 as a foundation brush actually I'm just gonna shake it and I'm just going to start dabbing the foundation on my skin now I know my lips look weird you guys and it's definitely a price that I have to pay <laughs> no literally I just did it for the dem demonstration I don't do this often which is why I get the bruise si ustedes hablan español me siguen en mi página de maquillaje toquen la pantalla y ahí está mi link hago videos en español toda la semana pero este video es en inglés pero si me siguen en mi página hago en español seguido So I'm just going to, now when I used to like start using foundation, I mean foundation brushes, I used to do it like this and then I was like, why am I getting little streaks? And it's because you're supposed to dab it like a fucking beauty blender, but it's a fucking, it's a brush. So I thought you would work it differently. Mi número es el 125. Yes, golpecitos, golpecitos. You're just pounding it or no, bouncing it. <laughs> bouncing it on the skin. What kind of foundation do you use? Can you show it? Yes, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me. It looks like this. Thank you so much, Erica. This was the makeup look that we created try to make it as similar as possible but it's so hard to make something similar when you're drawing it out for example I, I do have hooded eyes as you guys can see so when I did like the cut crease technique um, I made my lid look like I have a lot of space okay so I'm just gonna grab a little bit more foundation for my forehead now since this is my forehead I am using a smaller brush just to have you know more precision and I don't ruin my eyebrows because it took me so long to like just get them as even as possible it is so hard to get them even um, I literally had to pluck them out to get like an even shape um, with my natural hairs because they were so uneven naturally that when I did my eyebrows with makeup everybody was like oh my god your eyebrows look so different all the time, every time I went into my makeup. So I was like, you know what? I am plucking out my eyebrows. First time watching. Who else is here first time watching? Actually, all of you. Actually, the question should be, who has watched me before this live? Because this is my very first time on this um, makeup page. So most of you are first time watchers. Okay, so I'm going to use the Tarte Shade Tape Concealer. Um, as obviously a concealer and highlighter now I'm not gonna use like too much just because this concealer a little bit goes a long way and it's very thick thick and drying if you have dry skin definitely do not recommend it um, which I do have dry skin but I'm going to mix it with the Maybelline fit me concealer um, da -da. Now, when I mix it with the Maybelline Fit Me, now this one is a little bit more dewy, so I'm mixing it so that it's not so drying on my skin, and I still can get like that very uh, high coverage that I want, because I want it very highlighted. Angela, you've been following for two weeks now. I'm going to start making English videos in Spanish, obviously. I'm always going to make Spanish videos. 
Tania, ya, el, um, el viernes estaré haciendo uno en español. No sé, creo que tal vez mañana, pero creo que el viernes. Creo que es más seguro el viernes. Watching from Kansas. ¿Qué concealer es it? Ok, so I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I use the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, again, if you have dry skin, I don't recommend this concealer. But I do use it because I already paid $24 for it and I'm better fucking use it. It's very expensive. Ok, so I'm just gonna start blending this concealer out using my, um, this is my Morphe E8 and it's definitely my favorite brush for concealer. And this also came in the Jaclyn Hill um, Times Morphe. Saludos Ecuador, Angelo. Watching from the Philippines, how are you doing, Jeremy? Watching from Australia, wow, Tamika, wow, Australia. That is so cool. I love when I get like um, when I see that people are watching from um, outside of the United States, because honestly, I just sit back and think, and I'm just like, wow, the power of my, uh, the power of fucking internet, right? Okay, so I'm just dabbing it. And I'm just gonna bring the concealer like right beside um, on the sides of the nose. Thank you so much, um, Fabi. Thank you so much. Yeah, I honestly thought because this page, you know, has 3 million followers, I was so scared and intimidated first. I was like, oh my god, I'm going, you know, I'm going to have like 7k people watching me being mean as hell because they don't know me. Um, but, you know, it's okay. Definitely not at 7k, but this is good. Okay, so now, right now, the concealer looks very, like, streaky. So I'm just going to go on with my foundation brush and just bounce it on the face trying to um pretty much blend the concealer with my foundation so that you cannot see like the difference first time watching from guayana hi rebecca how are you doing no es demasiado el que no es demasiado Thank you so much, Quinn. What brand glitter did you use on, on your eye? I use Italia Glitter Liners, and you can find those on Amazon. They're super, super affordable. So I'm just gonna like, you know, see here. Super affordable. I love using affordable makeup, because honestly, makeup is so expensive. So expensive. So again, I do have a giveaway going on. So if you wanna, um, I'm giving away um, makeup essentials so I'm giving away eyeshadow pal palettes brushes lipsticks glitter uh, setting powder um, a makeup mirror that uh, has like a little light on it um, what else am I giving away I'm giving away a brush cleaner a setting spray lashes what else lashes I think it's more, but that's all I can remember. So just make sure that you tap the screen and it'll tell you how to enter. Hi, Whitney. Thank you so much. Love you too. First time watching, Brittany. How are you doing? I hope, I hope this is the first time of many times. I hope that this is where our friendship begins. Okay, so. I'm just making sure that everything is blended real good. Thank you so much. What does Azores mean? If somebody could tell me, because I, I keep seeing that comment and I have no idea what it means. Azores. Hi, Teresa from New Zealand. Hi, France. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I'm blending out everything um, beyond my neckline just so just in case you know it's a different thing going on okay so I'm going to say every time you put concealer on make sure that you set your concealer with um, make sure that you set it with what why is this brush what 
Okay, so make sure that you set it so that the concealer doesn't crease and doesn't like go anywhere. So I love, I love, love, love this um, RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. Actually, it's the one that I'm giving away. Um, super affordable and doesn't have flashbacks. Tasha, um, if you click on the screen, uh, it should it should be. Um, you should you should see my personal details. But if you follow, like, also if um, it's not taking you straight there, um, if you follow the giveaway link, um, the first, you know, the requirement for the giveaway is to like my page. So it should take you straight there. Either one. Okay, so I'm just setting my concealer. I'm also going to set it around my lips. because I don't want the purple to show. Okay, so I'm just putting more translucent powder in the rest of my face to uh, set everything. Uh, this is really helpful, especially when you are want to have like a long day wearing makeup. And I'm going to brush it off using my Morphe E41. Thank you so much. Is that a setting powder? Um, It doesn't. It says, what does it say? It says no color translucent powder. It doesn't say uh, if it's a setting powder or not. Um, but I do use it as a setting powder. I set everything with it. Makeup has no rules, girl. You, you do what you got to do. Okay, so now we're going to do contour. Uh, oops, no. First, I'm going to bronze. To bronze, I'm going to use the uh, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I love this bronzer. You're talking about Okay. Spanish is my first language. So, for the, um, you who ask. Okay, so I'm just going to put the bronzer normally where, where, <laughs> where I contour. And this is just going to help me give me some color. I just come straight. I do have like a, a round face, obviously, as you guys could see. So, when I make my line straight, I kind of cut it. And it, it helps it look elongated. So, if you guys have round faces, there's a tip. Oh my god, something's in you. Hmm. Okay. Let's, love. Let's go straight. What's your nationality? I am from Honduras. From Honduras. That is like literally the center of Central America. The center of all America. <laughs> all America, not North America. All America. Okay, so now I'm going to, oops, actually, I'm going to put some bronzer here, some here, some here, some here. But I'm going to contour, and to contour, I'm going to use, let me see, where's my brush? This is the Morphe R10, and it looks like this. Oh my god, I'm just making sure it's clean. Yep. And I'm going to contour, to contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit, um, and I'm going to mix this shade with I'm going to mix these two shades. Shout out to Via Madri Madriaga. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to again. Oops, let me put my. Muchachas, si quieren ver tutoriales en español, síganme en mi página, ahí los hago en español. So again, I'm doing a straight line rather than going like this. Now, from here, it looks like I'm doing a straight line, but I'm rather going slightly down. I have no idea if that makes sense. I'm honestly just following my cheekbone. Gracias, Sheila. Okay, 
So if you guys want to see me back on this page, just make sure you like and you share this video. And that will let the creator of this page know that you guys like me and want to see me again. Okay, so I'm just like... Now to contour the forehead, I do have a small forehead. I have a big head, but I have a small forehead. Now, usually when I first started contouring, I will contour this and my face will look so much rounder. So what I've learned that to make your uh, face just keep looking overly is it, rather than contouring here, you contour the sides. I honestly wouldn't recommend you to get the Morphe Me subscription brush. Um, I got... Um, I subscribe and when I subscribed I literally they literally took out they took out like almost like almost seven hundred dollars and I did make a YouTube video on that um, but it the, the video is in Spanish but yeah they pretty much fucking scammed me uh, I mean the bank fixed the situation and we got our money back but they are they were doing that to multiple pages not just me so if you do subscribe just make sure that you are aware be careful okay so what i'm going to do is just whatever is left on this brush i'm just going to put a little bit of contour on the sides of my nose now this is not to contour my nose but rather to give it a little bit of color and make it look even with the rest of the face Thank you so much, Nicole. Hola, Erika. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Thank you so much. I heard they fixed the problem already and they refunded the money to the people affected but raised the prices. Sandra, it was still pretty shitty for them to do that to begin with. And they shouldn't have done it. And they say that it was a third party that, the, um, th that did that. Like, their third party third party I don't know whoever the hell they say that holds their card information but honestly they should have had like control of it and shouldn't have let it happen to begin with so definitely not unsubscribe myself from there I, I unsubscribe I'm not giving them my, my money it's not worth it I'd rather just buy the brushes from morphe.com and avoid anything like that thank you so much Suzanne which products which which brush set do you advise me to buy? Costa Sense, Morphe brushes, or is there others? Um, I would recommend you, like if you're starting on makeup, um, I would definitely recommend you to order the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill brushes. Now, those are a little bit expensive. They're 150 but you get a lot of brushes and um, pretty much all you need for, to complete a whole full face makeup look. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the excess of contour. For this, I'm going to use, let me see, to make like the straight line, well, yeah, to make this, no, I'm just going to use this brush right here, um, this little sponge brush, and I'm just going to make like a straight line underneath the contour, and this is going to help the contour ev look even more intense and clean sharp and you'll be snatched to the gods okay so I'm just making sure like these lines are even okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab 
um, this flat brush, if I can find it. Okay, why, why is it playing hard again? Where is it? Okay. Of course you're out. Okay. Okay, whatever. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, um, my Morphe Eyebrow Palette. And this is super affordable and perfect if you like to change your hair often. And I'm going to grab my eyebrow, eyebrow brush and I'm going to clean the excess that it has. And I'm just going to put some powder on my eyebrows because after I did my foundation, I kind of messed them up and now they look very uneven. So I'm just going to grab this color right here. Just a little bit of gel and the color. And that makes you the pomade. Okay, so I'm just going to like get close. Now, when I did my eyebrows, I did it with the Anastasia Brow Pomade. But right now, the reason why I'm adding um, this powder on it is so that it just looks more defined, more intense, more sharp. Now, if you like your natural, like your brows natural, obviously don't do this because they look super strong. But I love my Instagram brows, so this is what I do. Now this eyebrow for me is so hard to do, like so hard. Thank you so much, Misty. Thank you so much, Misty's daughter. Where are you guys watching me from? And remember I have a giveaway going on, so just make sure you tap the screen to enter in the giveaway. It's a full makeup kit for you to get started on makeup. So I'm going to make sure like the brush doesn't have much product right now and I'm going to do the front of the brow because it looks like it's cut. Thank you so much Melissa. What type of makeup look do you guys like? Do you guys like colorful, neutrals, dramatics, naturals? So honestly, uh, getting your eyebrows to look similar is so hard. So as long as they look kind of alike, just leave them like that. Because nobody has really like twin brows. Never. Like not even the best makeup artist has that. So as long as you can get them to look similar, you're good to go. Nobody's going to be staring at your brows like this. But, you know, there's always that one person that will. However, that one person might not know how to do their brows herself. So. Okay, so we're just going to grab uh, this brush right here. It's like angled and the translucent powder. And I'm going to draw lines along my nose to kind of like contour, but not really, you know. Like I'm not contouring with color. I'm just doing using powder. And it'll be a really soft contour. I am so hungry, literally like so hungry. 
I like my makeup dramatic. I like it because, um, you know, non-dramatic makeup, it, it looks so beautiful in person and all that kind of stuff. And I get it, but we're trying to look pretty for Instagram. <laughs> Not in person. No. Um, seriously, though, I mean, both makeup looks look really pretty in person. Um, but the dramatic makeup definitely looks prettier um, for Instagram pictures. And I am a growing makeup artist. And, you know, one of my goals is to be recognized by makeup brands, especially Anastasia. Anastasia? Um, not for my bra, obviously, because they look so different. But, um, but I do, that's why I try to do, like, dramatic makeup looks. So that I could have a higher chance to be reposted on their Instagram page. Now I'm, now I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to try to make these powders to look similar. So that my lines can come out, obviously, similar. The closer you do your lines, the more snatchier your nose will. Okay, there you go. That's like honestly as close as it's gonna get. I am from Honduras, but I live here in North Carolina. Okay, so now we're gonna do our bottom lash line. And again, I'm using the Morphe 3500. 3502 palette and I'm going to use this brush right here this is the Morphe M506 it's the one we use for the black thank you so much Bianca thank you so much honestly I don't consider like my followers my fans I feel like fans is such a strong word you know I kind of consider y'all my supporters Hola, hola. Okay, so I'm going to grab I'm going to grab this color right here. This thing that I clean my brushes with, I got it on Amazon. Just type in um, brush sponge cleaner. And every time that I'm going to use like the same brush, different color, I just swirl it in here. Okay, so... I'm just gonna do my bottom lash line. Okay. So I'm just gonna do the other eye. Obviously, because you don't want to have different eyeshadows now when you do this you're gonna make the cutest face you've ever made ever okay. I got this hair right here and it's still bothering me Alright, so now we're grabbing like a smaller brush to have more precision. Like I don't want it too thick in the inner corners. So with this big brush, once I start getting darker colors, it's definitely going to show thicker. And I don't want it too thick in the inner corner because that will make my eyes look so bad. I'm looking for that brush. Let me know if you guys like are learning something, if I'm being a good teacher, or if you guys already knew everything I'm saying. Okay, so where's that brush? I I'll probably find it when I don't need it, for sure. Okay, so right now I'm going to use like this angle, I mean this just like flat line brush. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. So I'm going to now get, oops, I'm going to now get this color right here from the palette. And since this is like a flat line brush, 
this is going to help me get really tight in the lash line. Okay, you see how much like difference that makes? It's the tiniest, but it makes a big difference at the same time. How much was your lip plumper? It was 45. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab like a darker color, start going dark. And I'm just gonna grab like the bottom color right here. They say, I like natural, I'm dying to learn this makeup thing. I'm horrible at Jasmine, definitely follow me so that I could teach you my ways if you feel like I got ways. <laughs> but uh, hi, Stephanie. I hope you learn honestly pra practice makes perfect so just practice like whatever you see on videos on YouTube or whatever just keep practicing it okay so I'm going to do this other gracias Cheska Yes, I would definitely put lashes on. Si me voy a poner pestañas. Esta es la paleta de Morphe 3502. Saludos, Alison. Okay, so now we're gonna add the black with the smaller brush. I'm gonna use like this tiny brush. Saludos, Carla. Hola, Daniela. Saludos, Ana Grace. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes. Voy a enchinar mis pestañas. Muchachas, tengo un sorteo. Si les interesa entrar, está el link en cuando tocan la pantalla. Curling my mini lashes. And I'm gonna put mascara. Me voy a poner un poquito de rimer. Gracias, Débora. Olis, Gabby. I want to win too. Just enter and may, may, what is it? May the odds be with you. Thank you so much, Nezia. Gracias, Deborah. Thank 
Saludos a Ciudad de México, Judy. So, uh, este video es en inglés, pero si me quieren seguir para ver mis videos en español, en la pantalla está mi información de mi página. And I'm gonna put some in the bottom lash line too. Y en las pestañas de abajo también. Dude, I am so hungry. Tengo un chingo de hambre. Gracias, Dariana. Nos vamos a poner pestañas. We're gonna put lashes on. My back hurts. I mean, espalda también me da. Okay, so the lashes I'm going to use today, uh, their name of them are Girl About Town, and they are from Coco Lashes. Las pestañas que voy a usar se llaman Girl About Town y son de la marca de Coco. Hello, hello, hello. Si sí, hablo más como mexicana. Hi, Krista. Hope you're doing fine. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me find my glue. Okay, the glue that I'm going to be using is uh, from Lily Lashes. I'm just going to coat the whole lash band. Okay, so I cannot find for the life of me. Oh, sorry here. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so when you apply the lash glue, just make sure that it gets tacky before you apply it. Cuando pongan, le ponen este pegamento a la pestaña, asegúrense que está pegajosa antes de que se la pongan porque no se les mueva mucho. Thank you so much, Sabrina. I am so glad. I'm so happy you liked it. Hi, Mays. Hope you're doing fine. Saludos a Costa Rica, Cine. Gracias, Sonia. Okay. So, when I apply my lashes, now this tip is going to make it so much easier for you. So, what, what, when I don't have the camera on, because right now when I have the camera, I look at myself in the camera and the mirror at the bottom. But when I don't have the camera on, I use like this mirror like this. And I used to just put it like, like that, slanted, so that I can see from the top. And I hold the mirror in the bottom so that I can see perfectly the lash where it goes. And I apply it in the middle and then I fix it from the sides. This is how it looks with the lashes. Así se ve con las pestañas. Now, if you have cuter lashes, it probably looks better, but I'm running out of lashes. Si no les funciona el link, donde está este para el sorteo, uno, los, el primer requisito para ganar el sorteo o para ingresarse al sorteo es que uh, le, den le den like a mi página y los lleva directamente a mi página. So, si no les sirve el link, pueden ir así por la parte del sorteo. If the link is not working for you guys, um, if my link for my page is not working for you, um, just make sure that you participate on the giveaway and... The first requirement is for you to like my page and it takes you straight to it. So you can go to my page that way and you will you also be participating on the giveaway. Saludos, saludos muchachas. Gracias por estar aquí acompañándome. Okay, so we're gonna apply the other lash. Now who here is still watching in English? Because I see a lot of Spanish comments. Estoy viendo así como muchos comentarios suyos que hablan español y digo, ¿quién todavía me está hablando en inglés? ¿O me, me está viendo en inglés para seguir en inglés o seguir en español? <coughs> Gracias, Sabrina. 
Gracias, Reina. Muchísimas gracias. Ok. Ok. All right. I'll, I'll still be doing it in English. I was getting a little scared there. I was like, wait, do I do it in Spanish now? Or do I keep it going in Spanish? Or never mind. But. Okay, so. I'm just going to do this other one. Now, um, make sure that if you guys want to see me on this page again, just like and, uh, just like and share this video. It, it'll let the creator of the page know that you guys want to see me again. Oh God, no, I was doing good. Lash is being so stubborn. Esta pestaña como que me está dando mucho trabajo. And it's always like that. I accidentally loosen off this one. These lash, this style of lash, the girl about town, is so hard to put it on. Um, but I, I kind of like since this is my third time wearing them, they're kind of now used to my sh eye shape. But the only thing was that um, when I was fixing this one, I kind of like pull it upwards. Um, and then I try to pull it down and it just went everywhere and now this one now this one is like looking up and this one is just looking kind of like not up so it doesn't look as spiky as the other one and I'm trying to fix it but I don't think it's gonna happen all right so now I'm just gonna put the blush and all that kind of situation I'm going to like you know get further okay so Okay, so for the inner corners, I am going to, first, I am going to get out, okay, so I'm going to just dust out all the powder. I'm going to dust it inwards just so that the powder doesn't get on my eye makeup. I mean, downwards, not inwards. Okay, so for the inner corners, I am going to use um, this uh, this little shimmer shade from Coast to Scents. It doesn't have the name anymore. It doesn't have the name anymore, but it is from Coast to Scents, and Coast to Scents eyeshadows are super super affordable. So, But obviously, like, I'm sure you guys are not going to go to the page just to purchase one eyeshadow that I recommended. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this brush with the Smashbox Primer Water. And I'm going to grab the shadow. And I'm just going to highlight my inner corner. Saludos, Argentina, de verdad. Okay, so I'm also going to add it on the lower, on the brow bone. And it shows on like just a little bit, but that's okay because I don't want it too intense today. 
was showing off actually more when I didn't have like makeup on. And I did it and it was like so blinding and I was like, oh my God, yes, but now it's not showing. And actually I do want it intense because who am I without a non-intense shimmer eye? Okay. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna put blush on. Annalisa, you're watching from the Philippines. I hope you're doing fine. The spray is from Smashbox. It's just their primer water. Okay, so I'm going to put blush on. Now, my favorite, favorite blush palette is the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette. And I love it because it has the most wearable blush shades. And I use it all the time. It's super affordable as well. So, I'm going to use... I'm going to use this color, like, yeah, I'm going to use this color right here. So. And I'm just going to slightly dust it in because they are super pigmented and that color was, you know, kind of like out there. So, I'm just going to like slightly with the light hand but I'm trying to make it okay 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 so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put highlighter on the highlighter that I'm, I'm going to use today is the Ofra Cosmetics Rodia Drive this highlighter is so beautiful you guys okay so I'm just gonna put this so beautiful now this does look blinding so I'm, I'm going to have to blend it out some because it is since it's blinding it looks too harsh on certain lines so I'm blending it out just in like circular motions I'm using the brush from morphe m510 this highlighter you guys is so pretty because if you have pores it doesn't um, make your texture look like show with this highlighter on other highlighters are so powdery that when you apply it if you have like pores it just looks like a pore mess but this one it almost looks like wet when applied Okay, so I'm just going to apply some in my upper eyebrow. Okay, now in, in my nose, I'm going to use um, that brush I use for my inner corners. And I'm going to make like an exclamation mark using the highlighter. And again, this is going to make my nose look narrow without using contour this is the um, Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter So we are going to apply lipstick. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we apply lipstick, we are using the Smashbox Primer Water so that all the powders don't look like powder on the face. Before we do that, though, I'm going to use my big powder brush and just make sure I don't have any harsh lines on my jawline. Okay. So now I'm using that water. And I'm just gonna wait until um, like the actual spray, you know, sets in. 
Now for lipstick, I'm going to use, let me, find, let me see if I can find the one that I've been trying to use for the longest time, but I can never find like the perfect day to use this color. Seriously, like, I promise you, if I wasn't looking for it, it would be the first lipstick I saw. But since I am looking for it, it's definitely hiding away from me. Oops, right here. So I kind of want to use this one. Just because I've never gotten a chance to use it. Now, with this, um, with this makeup that we have going on right now, you can apply any lipstick you want. Literally... Uh, any color that you want will look good with this lipstick I mean with this makeup look but I want to use this one so this color that I'm going to use is um, long-lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra and I wish I could tell you the color but it is fading out and I got it on my boxy charm like a couple months ago like I think during the summertime and I'm going to now, honestly, I never use these colors. I always use like browns, nudes, and like burgundy shades, but I wanna use it for the sake of using it, but you guys can apply any color you want with this look. Seriously, you guys, honestly, when it comes to makeup, I think applying lipstick is so hard. I think, I feel like it's the hardest part about makeup. And I know people who cannot blend an eyeshadow can definitely put on lipstick, but I suck at putting lipstick on. I think that's as close as like as good as that lipstick is gonna look on my lips or me applying lipstick is gonna look raise your hand if you are like me and cannot apply lipstick because I suck but that's honestly as good as I'm going to apply it. So if you think it does not look like equal, whatever, ignore it, please. Okay, so this is the final look. This is the final look right here. And I hope you guys like it. I'm going to take my phone out of here. Okay, so this is how it looks.
so that's it you guys and um thank you all so much for watching if you want to enter the giveaway don't forget the giveaway and um, just touch the screen and the link for the giveaway is there and i hope you guys follow me on my page which is soy jessica h um here on facebook so it's s-o-y jessica ending h um if you want to see more makeup looks from me and yeah thank you all so much for watching and until next time bye